Polling stations closed late on Sunday, marking an end of the presidential runoff, which passed without serious incidents being reported. The head of the AU observers told reporters on Sunday night that his team had not seen any conduct that was dubious during the runoff. In all the voting stations, overall everything went well. There was nothing dubious. Earlier in the day, African observers were in Timbuktu, the ancient desert city in Mali's north, to make sure that polling was conducted according to international standards. A record 49% of 6.8 million registered voters turned out to cast their ballots in the first round of the election last month. Observers told Reuters news agency that participation appeared to be slightly lower for the runoff, but the vote had been peaceful and free of major technical problems. Thank God. From morning until now, everything has gone well, until the last minute, when the police arrested some people at voting offices number four and number eight for fraud. Besides that, everything went well here. It was former Prime Minister Ibrahim Boubacar Keita's race to lose after winning nearly 40% of the first round vote and receiving endorsement from almost all the other candidates. He faced former Finance Minister Sumaila Sise and results of the runoff are expected by Friday. Mali's next president will be tasked with not only building the country's shattered economy but also resolving a simmering dispute with the separatist movement in the far north. Noel Makugu, CCTV.